hello hi I'll, I'll just explain you the second method of uh, creating s curve the second method is you export the data in excel sheet and you work so first of all what i do is i have to ensure that the project is having a baseline now I already defined a baseline for this project you can check it over here baseline is the current project if not i'll just tell you the method how baseline can be set you have to maintain a baseline from here and then assign a baseline so this is the first step which is required before you proceed for S curve. So when you maintain your baseline and you assign your baseline, it, it implies that your plan has been now finalized. Okay. Now I'll just quickly show you how data has, can be exported. Uh, there's an option here called activity usage press sheet. So I just click here. Okay, as you can see in the bottom, I I, I just make it a little systematic. I'm just Clubbing the activities based on the WPS. Okay. Okay. So now I have some quick data. One, the complete project, the engineering, procurement, and construction. Okay. You can see here the remaining labor. The hours are coming here. Cumulative. You can can come here. The details for a for a branch in WPS. It's coming here. Okay, now I'll just quickly tell you how data can be exported or it can be customized. One, for S curve, you require a time scale. So I'll just tell you how to set the time scale. Now you can see your time scale, it's a month and it's divided by weeks. So simply come here, right click, time scale. And you can set the scale in which you want to export your data. So I just make it quarter month or you can make it anything you want. So now I say OK. So here it's quarter and it's month. Okay. Again I make it minimize this. Okay. The first level this is for the complete project. So this line data is for the complete project. Okay. Now for S curves I will be requiring different values. Sometimes I will be requiring remaining labor. Sometimes I require cost. Or sometimes I require cumulative work and so on. So I will just quickly tell you how to add those columns in your S curve. Just right click over here, you have spreadsheet options, just click here, oh sorry, you have just click here and go in spreadsheet field and you can add the fields you want. Now you have the remaining labor and cumulative actual labor, you can click here, suppose you want, say cost data, you can just click here and you have all the data related with the columns you want. So cumulative actual expenses, cumulative actual material actual non labor actual total cost and so on so all the options required are here if you want some earned value data it, it is over here so you can add whichever data you want and you can just add it into this okay now i just remove this i keep just remaining labor unit and i click apply okay you can see here uh, remaining labor units per month are applied over here and to just export it into excel you have to just click here you have to select it i just select this i say control c and i open an excel sheet okay i come into excel sheet and i just simply paste it okay so here are the columns because i at given it month basis you can see here the time plan, time scale has come here in months and this is engineering procurement so it is the topmost level so it's the complete project so the for the complete project these are the values of remaining labors so this is the data available and you can generate a scrub based on this data similarly detail engineering it was a major work packet so this is giving an average of all those activities over here so these can be exported and used for the further requirements of generating S curve.